everybody welcome back to the table so this is probably gonna be the last video tonight I actually have quite a few paintings that I need to put a coat of varnish on and then some other ones that are done varnished that I need to take pictures of and get on my website so um, all that information is below this video if you're interested so we are going to do a very long piece, uh, 9 by 16, 16 by 16, and 9 by 16. It's a three-piece one. We are going to do um, the negative space white. I, we're going to do a cup here and a cup here, and we're going to kind of bring them together and then take them off to the corner so they kind of flow up that way. The colors that we are using today, we have three blues and three shades of turquoise. So we've got sapphire metallic, ice blue metallic, and then ultramarine blue. And then our teal and turquoise are teal metallic, aquamarine metallic, and deep turquoise. I put two drops of um, Rain-X in each of the turquoise and three drops in each of the blues. Um, and it's the regular mixture of Floetrol water and pigment. So what we're gonna do to a little bit different is we're actually gonna put the white on all the way here and then a little bit here just because I want to get it, I want to get it smoothed out, moved around, and leveled out before I do the flips. So that's what we're going to work on first. that one upside down on the other cup of white so it can drip in. I did pre-paint this. I did pre-paint it with just a coat of white, just basic white, just to help give us an even background. tilting but not much. Okay. Should we all be nice and even? to get out. I don't know where they came from. Okay. Okay. So now that we've got that part done and coated, let me clean off my hands real quick. Again, I don't wear gloves. It's it's acrylic paint. Um, comes off with soap and water. I just I find it a waste of money to to wear gloves every time when it's just it's just acrylic paint. The bubbles out. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's do our cups. Um, I've got my cups done here. I've got holes in the bottom of each one. And then we got them taped. Okay, so we are going to do, because the sapphire and the ice blue are very, very similar colors, we are gonna do one of those in each cups. That one is my ultramarine blue. Okay. reason just kind of fill in the cups with the colors I was gonna do you know one cup just the teal and one cup just the blues but I just really wanted to mix it up and have a good combination of the two okay I got a little bit of teal left. Okay. So now that we've got that. We're going to put one here. We are going to put one there. That'll work. Okay. Off the rest of the white. Okay, so we are going to do one cup at a time because I want to make sure that they kind of flow the path that I really want them to. So again, remember we are going to take this cup and it's going to kind of come down and then it's going to go up and then this one is going to kind of follow the same path, meet into it and they're both going to come up and through that corner. That's the goal. We'll see what happens. So let's do the top one first. Okay, got that one. Now 
now let's see how this one flows. with it too much. Just let it react the way it's going to react. Looks like it's settling in pretty well. I really like the way that's turned out so far. I don't think I'm going to do any tilting, any moving, anything like that. I'm going to separate them and then I'm going to let it sit here overnight and just settle the rest of the way. Um, kind of go over here to the top of the table and get a look at that side. Yep, that looks okay up there. Okay, so far I really like the way it's just laying. It just kind of looks like bubbles coming up. We've got the random bubbles over here. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out so far. And um, let's see. I just need to fix this corner down here. Okay, so this is pretty much going to stay right where it's at right now. Um, I'm going to pull them apart slightly so we can get the paint in between. Just like that. I'm not even going to mess with the middle pieces. I'm just going to let it dry. This one to come up. There we go. Okay. That is it for this one. Um, I'm going to call it a success. Let me know what you think. Um, I really, really hope it dries just like this. Um, I'm not even gonna move it from the drying rack. Whenever you move it and you put it on a drying rack, there's some times that it's gonna shift and, and by the time it dries, it's something completely different. I don't wanna take that chance. I'm gonna leave it right where it's at for the night. Um, any sides or any of that kind of stuff can be fixed. But if I can't fix it by sticking my fingers in the paint, painting it on there, then it's it's not getting fixed tonight. So I do not want to have to tilt or move this at all. Okay, let me bring you down so you can get a closer look. All right. So here it is. I'd have to say it's a success. Let me give you a closer look. One of these days I'm scared to death. I'm gonna drop my phone in the paint. Here, 
I'll go down this first line. Look, it just looks like little bubbles. And again, this is a three piece set. The sides are 19 by 16, or I'm sorry, nine by 16. And then the middle is 16 by 16. This one will probably be available for sale on my Etsy page within the next uh, probably week. Got to let it dry and then I have to get it varnished and all that. But go take a look. Um, if you have any comments, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or suggestions, don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe and share with your friends. And as, as always, God bless.